quiet up here. I haven't been uh, into the hills for a while since my last video. It's been over a week. So now we can go for a ride. These routes, even though you may have been to them before, they always seem different every time you come up them. I've been on this route twice before. And it's a nice route. There's uh, some pretty good, uh, pretty good scenes to, to enjoy. Takes you up fairly high. I was supposed to come up here last week with, well, on the weekend, last uh, Saturday, I think it was, with uh, with a buddy, and uh, but couldn't make it. Things to take care of. I like it here on the weekdays because there's hardly anybody here. Well, so far I think there's nobody here today. Today is a Tuesday. On the weekends, this area gets um, a little traveled. You know, you get uh, other riders and you get Jeeps coming up here. ATVs, that type of thing. So it's nice to, nice to be on your own. Or risky, I guess, you know, in case stuff happens, but the trade-off is, to me, worth it as long as the person is careful. And I do try to be careful. I err on the side of caution. Sometimes I think maybe I'm a bit too cautious on some of these uh, dirt routes, but, you know, let's say not um, taking a a steeper than I have done before route or you know one that looks super gnarly but I want to be around to enjoy this for a long time I was saying to uh, one of the other YouTube uh, channel uh, he has a YouTube channel I forget Bob V, I think, I'm not sure. And um, he lives in, I believe, California. He's an artist, and I'm an artist also. And now and again, what he does is he takes his French easel up on his bike and does some paintings in the hills, some plein air painting. And I think that that's a fantastic idea. I have wanted to do that, but so far, I have not. But this is a new season, so I think that I would like to. You know, just come up to a, a really nice, peaceful spot, park the bike, get out the paints and the canvas, and spend the day. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I had this horrible thought that, oh no, I'm not taping. <laughs> I did that before. But I am. Well, you knew that, didn't you? I was the only one that didn't. I was chugging away here. Well, with the modifications that I did to the bike, I can actually do that chug and still have the power without always shifting into first. Okay, that route goes to a lookout. And I went there last time. So we'll go this way because this is where I couldn't get much too, fur too much further because of the snow and ice which I'm thinking today won't be an issue. Suspension definitely feels more capable now that I increased the preload on the shock. 
technically it's it's still not right but you can't get it right with the stock shock but it's better well this is a pretty route that's for sure Well, there's a view for you. That's awfully nice. Well, I don't know what that how serious that sign was it says no trespassing radio frequency energy area Ooh, what does that mean does that mean I'm going to be bombarded with harmful energy well I won't be here long lots of glass here obviously people come and party with all the wonderful energy of that eh? look at that view isn't that incredible So, let's get out of here before I get poisoned with the energy. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna run over glass. Well, I originally thought it uh, connected to uh, Terrace Mountain, Maine Forest Service Road, which is a decommissioned road. And it takes you up into some really nice areas. However, it doesn't look like I'll get there this way. I think I would have to get there by taking one of the trails going off this route, which belonged to the Okanagan Trail Riders Association and I'm not a member so I legally can't go on them but I keep saying I'll become a member I just haven't yet That was probably one of those, well, it is one of those routes from the Okanagan Trail Riders that had their marker. And definitely there's uh, probably a few of their trails that will lead me in the direction I want to go, but I've got to be a member, so I'll do that. Just, you always got to watch your money, don't you? You know, you, you end up spending so much in modifications, and there's another one. And all of that, plus there's life. You gotta live, aside from riding your motorcycle. All costs money. Well, you take care and ride safe, have fun and all that sort of stuff. Bye-bye.